Hello squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is we're heading outside. Now I know what you're thinking, why go outside when all you record is or maybe and if you're very lucky and listen carefully maybe a little bit of but today there is method in our madness. We're heading outside with some Teutonic hypercardioids to test their resistance to wind noise. Yes we've got a great bunch of stuff including uh, the Neute Neumann KM185. Now, at the top of our tree, financially speaking, is the uh, Sherps CCM41. It's a mic in a tiny package that packs a massive performance, and it's a favourite of sound recorders uh, in film and TV around the world. However, it may be tiny in size, but in price, it's significant, just under £1,500. Uh, next on our list, financially speaking, is the Gefell M310. Not well known at all, I don't think, in um, uh, location recorded circles. But check out my uh, other video for its sound quality when compared to the Sherps and others. Um, unused to being third is our Neumann. They don't like to be in third place in the financial stakes, but the KM185 is a bit of a bargain, and I love the sound of it in the studio. However, it's a bit prone to popping. I wonder how it will fare outside. And last, but by no means least, cheap and cheerful, well, I don't know about that, but it's an AKG CK93 on an SE300B body. Now, that combination's been around a long time, and I do know some sound recorders who favour it, and it gets quite a lot of good press. But it's definitely at the cheaper end. Let's see how cheerful it is when we get it outside. OK, we've gathered our mics. We've got a stand. Let's head out. And here we are outside, from left to right, the Sherps CCM41, the Gefell M310, the AKG CK93, and the Neumann KM185. And as you can tell from the greenery in the background, it's a delightful Welsh spring day with not much air movement. However, as you probably know, a Teutonic hypercardioid is no match for the gentlest of breeze when outside without a windshield. And sure enough, Here's our gentle breeze. Have a listen to that. A word on methodology. Each of the mics is fed into a track on a Zoom F6 location recorder, and then each of those mics is lined up with a sound tech sound level calibrator. That should guarantee equal loudness at the inputs uh, for all the mics. Now we have all four files loaded into Wavelab Pro 10. And I must say, Wavelab Pro 10 has some excellent facilities when it comes to loudness. You can see up the top here uh, a rather magnificent loudness meter that tells you all sorts of things about momentary loudness, average loudness, you know, peak loudness. Um, it really is a, a great visual indicator. And they also have uh, a loudness normalizer on board, which is great for measuring loudness. So I've selected uh, all of the clip, and uh, this one is the KM185. And I'm going to hit the catch the loudness from audio selection, which is the whole file. And um, hey presto, it goes off and does the mathematics. And all these measurements are in loudness units, so it's, it's LUFS, and this is at minus. 28 LUFs. So that is the KM185. If we hop along here to the Sherps, again I've got the whole file selected. This is the Sherps CCM41. Remember minus 28 for the KM185 and um, well the the Sherps is uh, about 3 or 4 dB, 3 dB better than that at about minus 31 LUFs. So uh, the the Sherps beating out the Neumann so far. Uh, we then go to the Gefell and uh, same process. Uh, measure the Luffs minus thirty five. Mm, now that's a that's a whopping seven dB better than the Neumann, and also uh, a handy three or four dB better than the Sherps. Now that may well be because the Gefell, if you look at the um, if you look at the frequency response curve, has a very gentle roll off. Uh, below 200 hertz and that will of course help when you get outdoors because um, every little bit of bass reduction is going to help in those windy conditions. And uh, last but by no means least the AKG CK93 which um, when we measure it comes in at a whopping 10 dB better than the Neumann at minus 38. That is 7 dB better than the Sherps and a handy 3.5 dB better than the Gefell. In fact, that result is so good, 
I'm suspicious of it. The, the AKG is the only one that has a, a, a base cut in the capsule, which I have switched off, but looking at that, I wonder, is the switch broken? And maybe if I get time, I'll return to testing the two outliers, i.e. the Neumann, which is the worst, and the AKG, which is the best, just to confirm my results. But there you are, that's what, the, that's what happened when they're all lined up and all recording uh, the same thing. However, we have got some more audio analysis uh, software on offer. We've got, uh, this is uh, SoundForge Pro 12. Um, not quite such a fancy um, loudness meter here as on the, uh, uh, as on WaveLab, but this, I am a couple of versions behind here on my, on my SoundForge, but they do have all the information you need uh, just laid out in a slightly different fashion. Now, um, what this also has is, is a really great feature, which is when you save out a file, you get the chance to save out with it a comprehensive log of the loudness of the file. Let's start with the uh, Neumann KM185. And the all-important column is this uh, second last column here. And uh, the, the, the KM185 minus 28 dB actually ties in pretty closely with WaveLab. The, the Sherps at about minus 31, again, pretty much where, where WaveLab is and the uh, Gefell at minus 35, and uh, uh, the prize winner, the um, AKG CK93 at minus 38. Now, the correlation between those two different bits of software doing the analysis lends me to have a reasonable amount of confidence that, uh, given the files that have been offered to the systems, that the results are accurate. And so there you have it, a rather surprising result maybe in the hypercardioids outside extravaganza. Who would have thought that the AK, the humble, the humble AKG CK93 would produce the best results in terms of rejection uh, of wind noise? Not, of course, uh, we weren't talking about sound quality, only about its rejection of wind noise. And uh, I should say, yeah, that there is a, there's a little switch that uh, offers you a bass cut at 75 hertz. None of the other mics have that, although um, certainly the Sherps, you can, I think, buy a little, an extra uh, screw-on fitting that does the job. Sadly, I was expecting the, uh, the KM185 maybe to trail the pack. This is a wonderful, wonderful studio microphone. It really is. And um, the, more, the more I hear it, the more I listen to it, the more I enjoy it, the more I think it's a bargain, you know, when I look at the alternatives and the price of the alternatives. However, outdoors, on a boom, on a pole, the, its mechanical properties are uh, going to give you a problem unless you've got um, the softest hands and a nice big Senella or uh, Rycote windshield. If you do, you'll probably be, probably be fine. But um, we've, got to, we've got to proclaim the king, and the king is, at the moment, the AKG CK93. Now, there's mics from Audix and Audio-Technica uh, to name but two that I'd like to try, but uh, that's as up-to-date as we are at the moment. The Teutonic test... AKG come out winners. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, do subscribe, it does help, and come back soon. Thanks for watching.